Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. C.D. Lamb joins NFL's receiving elite in career year, he says it's just a start. C.D. Lamb learned to embrace number 88 when Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones insisted he were the number associated with some of the best receivers in club history. Next, he adjusted to the role of Dak Prescott's top target after the Cowboys decided it was his time two years ago and traded Amari Cooper. Now the 2020 first-round pick has put together the best receiving season the storied franchise has ever seen and believes he can be called one of the NFL's best. Still, it's all just a start. I'm definitely one of the elite receivers in this game, Lamb said. I worked my tail off to be that and to say that confidently. It's good to be elite, but how consistent? How long can you be elite is the next challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. But it will wait. First, Lamb wants to get the Cowboys, 12-5, past the divisional round for the first time in 28 years. Thanks in part to his breakout season, their position better than either of his other postseason trips the previous two seasons. Cedarian De Leon C. D. Lamb, born April 8, 1999, is an American football wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys of the National Football League, NFL. He played college football at Oklahoma where he was a consensus All-American in 2019, and was drafted by the Cowboys in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. Lamb was born in Opelousas, Louisiana, and lived in New Orleans until he and his family evacuated to Houston, Texas, following Hurricane Katrina's effects on the city in 2005. Lamb attended John and Randolph Foster High School in Richmond, Texas, where he played high school football. As a junior, he caught 57 receptions for 1,082 yards and 11 touchdowns. As a senior in 2016, Lamb had 98 receptions for 2,032 yards, fourth in state history, 33 receiving touchdowns, tied for second in state history, and three punt returns for touchdowns. Lamb, with quarterback Alex Ramart, led the team to a 14-1 overall record, with the only loss coming to Temple High School in the 5A D1 state semifinals. Lamb received All-State, Houston Touchdown Club's Offensive Player of the Year and the Houston Chronicles All-Greater Houston Football Offensive Player of the Year honors. Cowboys ex Kellen Moore favorite to be hired for head coach job. Critics of Kellen Moore might label this as a case of failing up, but as the NFL coaching carousel turns, with Bill Belichick having departed from the New England Patriots to ride the lead pony, there are eight teams with an opening for head coach. That includes the Carolina Panthers, with a wish list that might include Moore, the former Dallas Cowboys offensive coordinator. Why Kellen? What, exactly? Did he accomplish in a failed season with the Los Angeles Chargers after being nudged out of Dallas by coach Mike McCarthy a year ago? Not much. But Moore is nevertheless well regarded in part because he is extremely might. Oh, and maybe the Panthers' job isn't going to draw the Belichick level names. And so, Bet Online has its odds, with Moore as the favorite to land in Carolina, jumping over Baltimore Ravens assistant Mike McDonald. And sure, Go ahead and put a buck on Bill, too, as Belichick is also in the mix, to the gamblers, if not to the real world. Moore has been an offensive coordinator for the past five seasons, and his four-year term with the Cowboys was by most measures a success. He did interview recently for the Chargers' top job, and he had head coach interviews last year as well. Cincinnati Bengals are number one option for elite wide receiver T. Higgins. Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins' rookie contract expired after the 2023 season, and he will become a free agent this offseason. Many have speculated that it would be difficult to keep Higgins and fellow star wide receiver Jamar Chase on the same team after both of their rookie contracts expired. Quarterback Joe Burrow received one of the biggest deals in NFL history, but he claims to have had re-signing Higgins in mind. Chase's rookie contract doesn't expire until next year but he told the media that he wants to get paid during this offseason as he is now eligible for an extension. In an article from Bleacher Report, Higgins explained how much it means to him that the Bengals want him back with the team. It means a lot, 
Higgins told Bleacher Report when discussing both the quarterback and his fellow wide receiver saying they want him to return even though he is set for free agency this offseason. Them telling me that they want me to come back, man, it's family. We've been playing together for three or four years now, and I personally would love to be back playing with those guys. It's not in my hands now, but when the time comes and Cincinnati is there, that's the number one option right now. In the same article, Chase explains that Higgins needs to get his money. Dallas Cowboys are interested in hiring Kirk Cousins. While Chase teased wanting an extension this offseason, he also said that he wants to wait for other receivers to set the market. Whatever point at which the market ends up being set could drastically affect the Bengals' financial future. Who knows how that will unfold at the end of the day, the LSU product told Bleacher Report when discussing his potential extension. We have to worry about T this year too, make sure bro gets his money. And on the other hand, I gotta wait for other receivers, like C.D. Lamb and Justin Jefferson, to get paid, too. Higgins was a part of the franchise-changing draft that the Bengals had in 2020. Quarterback Joe Burrow was the first pick of the first round, and Higgins was the first pick of the second round. Higgins had just over 900 yards receiving in his first season with the Bengals and that was the only time he wouldn't reach 1,000 yards receiving with at least 16 games played. Higgins has totaled 3,684 yards receiving in his four-year career, and he has 24 receiving touchdowns. When teams key in on Chase, or Chase gets injured, Higgins has come up big for the Bengals. One instance this year is when Chase left the Minnesota Vikings game early, and Higgins stepped up with one of the best catches of the year. The only concern with Higgins is how much he will be on the field. Since joining the Bengals in 2020, he has participated in 65% of the total Bengals snaps. In his rookie year, he participated in 74.8% of regular season snaps, which is the highest percentage of yearly snaps with the Bengals. Whether Higgins decides to stay with the Bengals or move on to another team, he will be a main option in an NFL offense. His strong hands and jump ball ability make him a wide receiver one for a lot of teams in the NFL. And you fan, what do you think of the T. Higgins situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.